I'm going to start my ticket booking system with a basic user interface. So here we go, a Visual Basic Windows Forms application. And I'm going to start laying out the auditorium. Now I'm going to represent the seats using picture boxes. And the reason I'm using picture boxes is because I want to control what happens when you click on them. I could do this in a number of different ways, but I found this to be quite convenient. I want all of my picture boxes to start off white. So let's set the back color. And now it's a question of copying these. So there's my first picture box, picture box one, and then control C to copy. And I'm just going to make multiple copies of this. So picture box two, three. I don't need to be too, uh, too worried about getting these in exactly the right place to start with because there's some lovely features on the format menu which will allow me to get the layout just right. So for example, I can highlight this lot and you can see here I've got make same size, horizontal spacing, make equal, vertical spacing, increase, decrease. With this lot, I can actually get these looking pretty good very quickly. Now notice they're numbered picture box one, picture box two, three, four, five, six, and the last one here is picture box seven. It's tempting now just to copy the lot, control C, control V, but you'll notice the numbering of these new controls is a little bit odd. Uh, so for example, I went from one to seven here, but now this one is number 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. It seems to have dealt with them in the reverse order that they appear on the form. Now, I'm not going to worry about that too much at the moment. What's really important is that each of these picture boxes has a unique name, which of course it will have. But I'm thinking later on, if this is picture box 7, then this will be seat ID number 7. If this is picture box 12, this will be seat ID 12. And I just need to bear that in mind when I start constructing my database. I'm not going to spend a lot of time putting this together in front of you. Let's fast forward to one which I've already done. So here's my basic user interface, or at least the seats and the stage. You can see now then I've got a number of picture boxes on here numbered from picture box 1 to picture box 160. So we have 160 seats here. And I did this largely by copying. I've also added a few labels as well. The stage is actually a label with no text in it. And then I've got the row letters and for each row, a seat number within that row. From the customer's perspective, it's the row and seat number that matters. From your perspective as a programmer, what really matters is the seat ID, which will correspond to the picture box number. So this is picture box 102, this will be seat ID 102. Now I've left myself some room at the top as well to add some buttons and the means by which I can select the customer. Oh, one final thing, I've set the caption of the form as well. The next thing to do before we write any code is to put a database in place.